Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, we have seen what is a class function in click. How can we create different bucket range with class function? Last time when we implemented class function, we simply implemented it on a numeric field that is a age and we created bucket of different age group. Today we will implement class function with aggregated function. I have created an application. I will show you the data model here. We have one order table. This is a star schema. Order table is associated with product, supplier, customer and employee table with respective ID fields. And I have also created master calendar. Now we have altogether 20 distinct countries and 50 distinct customers. Left hand side I have created a table which is showing sales by country and on the right hand side similar way we can get sales by customer. Now my objective is to create sales bucket and I will count number of countries and number of customers falling inside that bucket. So to do that I will copy this and then I will implement class function here. So I will remove this master dimension and I will add class sum of sales and say my bucket is 1000. Now when I implement this one we will get error because right now the reason behind getting invalid dimension is because we are using a function sum here. This sum is actually aggregation function and you can see we have different functions for aggregation like sum, count, average, mean, max. So when all these functions we are using in dimension or say in a calculated dimension, we also have to use the agar function. So this bucket I want to create for country. So my this bucket with respect to my country. And now you can see we are getting some values here. And instead of sum of sales, I will write count of countries. And I will mention here distinct countries because countries are repeating for customer. So now you can see we are getting our result. But everywhere we are getting one but only for this range we are getting two countries. So let's change the bucket size instead of 1000 I will make it 10,000. And now if we see we have many countries grouping in different bucket. So if I will say 130 to 140k, we have three countries falling. If I want to give end user choice of creating buckets of their own choice, then I can do something like this. A variable and I will say bucket size and here I will mention 10,000 and then and now we have bundle in click dashboard variable input. I can use this variable here and make it as input box and I can say enter bucket size and now this variable I will use inside my class function. So instead of 10,000, now I can say V bucket size. So when user will change the bucket size, say 25,000, the bucket will change automatically. Say 50,000 and you can see. The same way I can create for customer table here and Instead of agar of my country, I will use by customer and 
here I will do count of distinct customer and here I will say bucket size is 10,000 and you can see both of my tables are now responding based on the variable. So this is how you can use class function to create sales bucket. We can also use the same in bar chart. I will convert to bar chart and make it horizontal value label is on. Same way I can do for customer as well and here also I will make value label auto and now you can see a proper bar chart which is showing number of customers and number of countries falling based on the bucket size. And it responding based on our user defined bucket size. If you like my video, please do subscribe and comment. Thanks and have a great day.